Hey, Albert. How's it going? You get off work yet? Yeah. The boss had us doing crazy overtime work. I just got out. On my way home as we speak. Great. Glad to hear it, honey. No kidding. He's been working you guys to the bone lately. Are you going to eat out somewhere before you get home? I haven't eaten yet. I'm trying not to spend much on eating out, so I'm going to rustle myself something up when I get back. Oh, really? What will you make? I'm thinking of doing a spicy chicken stir fry. You know what is crazy? I've been craving sweet, spicy stuff lately. And Lord knows I could do with more vegetables in my life. Plus, a side of instant soup. I've been bulk buying these multi packs lately. They taste so good for how cheap they are. Wow, get you. Since when did you cook healthy meals for yourself? Color me astonished. I was certain you'd just pick up a ready meal or grab a burger at a drive thru somewhere on the way home. While I'm away, living all on my lonesome for work, transfer health is a numero uno. If I don't look after myself while I'm out here, no one else will. Don't get me wrong, I won't be getting a job at any five star restaurants anytime soon, but I have been cooking simple meals for myself. It seems like you're really living consciously and trying to look after yourself. I'm pleased to hear it, sweetie. I never thought I'd live to see the day. Sounds like you don't need me anymore. Don't even joke about things like that. Whether I cook or not, I'm still out here in Philly, all on my own, away from my family. You can get pretty lonely sometimes. Sorry, babe. I was just kidding. Oh, that reminds me. I messaged you because there was something I wanted to ask you. What's up? It's summer break. Soon you will be coming back, right? Shall we go somewhere as a family? I'd love for all of us to just forget the world and go on vacation somewhere together. It's been so long, but if we do, we'll need to book everything. So it's best we decide in advance. Oh, I'm sorry, Hannah. I've actually been meaning to message you about this. I can't make it back for summer break anymore. Huh? Why not? There have been a bunch of reforms at work that mean we have to go in for a few small shifts each week over summer break now. I do have some paid vacation left, but they wouldn't stretch far enough to cover a holiday. The shifts seem pointless. Honestly, two hours here, four hours there. But the company has been struggling lately and they're trying to up output in whatever way they can. Summer breaks are not looking good. Oh, I see. I didn't know about these new shifts. But I would have at least hoped you could book them off. I actually spoke with the boss about this earlier today. I practically begged him to give me enough time off to fit in a holiday with you guys. But he said his hands are tied. But there will always be other opportunities. We'll just have to go on an extra luxurious, extra extravagant holiday next time. That's the spirit. I'm sorry though, babe. I was really looking forward to going away somewhere together. Just the three of us. Next time I get a big chunk of time off, I'll take you both somewhere nice. I promise. Thanks. It's fine though, Albert. Really, don't worry about it. Work is work, and it can't be helped. That may be so. But I can't deny the whole thing has left me feeling a little dispirited. I was dead set on coming back. You have no idea how gobsmacked I was when they announced these new shift patterns. I couldn't wait to see you and Layla again. I know, honey. Layla will probably be broken up about it too. She'd have been over the moon to hear her daddy was back for the summer. Oh, I know it sucks. Not only that, but I promised I'll be back. Last time I video called, she thinks I'm a liar. She'll be sad and disappointed, but I'm sure she'll come round when I explain why. She's a clever girl for her age. Don't worry, sweetie. Leave Layla to me. Okay, thanks, babe. You're the best. No way. You're the one who flew out there all on your own for the huge work opportunity to give me and your daughter a better life. No one blames you, sweetie. So don't be too hard on yourself, okay? It's really not a big deal. We'll get plenty of other opportunities to go away together when your transfer ends. Yeah, you're right. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Carla, one of the mums from kindergarten, is calling me. Gotta go. 
Speak again soon, babe. Night, night. Hey, Albert. You okay? You're off work now, right? Nope. I'm still stuck at the damn office. A jackass. Denzel has been having me do extra overtime lately. What even is this overtime? Over overtime? Wow. At this time. I'm really sorry to hear that, honey. Just think of all the extra money you're making. And don't forget to breathe. I'll message you later. I hope they let you go soon. It's cool. I'm waiting for a new order to be finalized, so I have time right now. What's up? Do you want to talk about something? Oh, you do? Okay, well, it's about summer break. I was thinking it might be nice to take Layla away somewhere nice. Just me and her. Would you mind if we went? Just the two of us. What do I mind? Not at all. That's a great idea. Be my guest. Where'd you have in mind? I've been thinking about a few places, but I haven't decided yet. I wanted to get the go-ahead from you first. I see. Aha! Light bulb moment. Why don't you both come down to Philly and we can all go somewhere together? I should be able to get a few days off. So how about we all go sightseeing as a family? I'll be so happy to see you both again. Hmm, we want to see you too, sweetie. But is that really a good idea? There's like nothing in that part of Philly you're staying in. Layla would be bored out of her skull. And you know what a handful she can be once the sulking begins. Oh, I guess you'd have a point. I'm sorry, babe. I hope you're not upset. I'm sure we'll come and see you at some point. It's just that there's this theme park Layla's been begging me to take her to for months now, and I don't think she'd forgive me if we went on any kind of holiday that didn't involve going there. It's fine. I understand. Sorry for putting you in an awkward position. Don't be silly. You have nothing to apologize for. I'm sorry we couldn't come. Oh man, I really wanted to come with you guys. I know, honey. I know. Oh yeah, how did she take the news of me not coming home for spring break? If you didn't get mad or anything, did she? She was fine. I told you, she's a clever girl. She understood it couldn't be helped when I explained it was due to work stuff. And she knows the reason you're not around right now is to provide the two of us with a better life. I see. Well, in that case, I'm pleased. Don't get me wrong. We're both missing you like crazy. I guess no one could blame me for that. So too. Though I'm missing you both too. I know, honey. But we have to remember, your work arrangement is only temporary. And I was so excited about this theme park trip. It'll probably help her forget how sad she is about her daddy not being around. Even if just for a little while. I think this is what she needs. Good luck with work, sweetie. Hopefully Denzel starts going easier on you from now on. God, I really, really want to come with you. Should I ask him one more time? Maybe if I say, pretty please with a cherry on top. Carrie from sales had come back off sick leave lately, so maybe we have the manpower to fill the gap now. No, you can't. I mean, you shouldn't do that, sweetie. Surely it would cost the company and be a huge inconvenience if you tried to book a vacation on such short notice. The reason you got that transfer in the first place is because you're such a team player. I know it sucks, but we're just going to have to accept it. Fine, I guess. They do need me. I'll just carry on going to the office. Come on. This isn't like you, Albert. What was it you always used to say? It might be stormy now, but it can't rain forever. We'll look back on these days and laugh one day. I just know it. Besides, Layla and I will send you some souvenirs. I know how much you love your whiskey. I'm sure a fine bottle will help cheer you up. Things might not be ideal, but it doesn't have to be all doom and gloom. You know? Yeah, you're right. Or do you just say whiskey? Hell yeah, now we're talking. That's the spirit. Me and Layla will find you some other things too. We'll put together a bumper bag of surprises. So get excited. Thanks, babe. That helps. 
have enough to look forward to and make work a little more tolerable. Since I can't be there, I want you and Layla to have enough fun for the three of us. We will, sweetie, I promise. It's getting late, so I have to put her to bed soon. See you later, honey. Albert, are you still away in Philly on that business trip? Yeah, I am. Why? It's not a business trip. I'm away on transfer. I'll be here for a while longer. Yeah, I wasn't able to make it back for summer break because the company overhauled our shift patterns. So that's why. Why? It's not like you to contact me. What's up, mom? I'm messaging you because I have something very important to tell you. You need to leave your wife immediately. I need to leave my wife? What are you talking about? You know, you don't message me for months at a time. And then you suddenly show up out of the blue demanding I leave Hannah. Did she do something to upset you or have you been being mean to her? Don't be silly. I'd never waste my time with something so disgusting. Then why would you show up out of nowhere demanding I leave my wife? Is there something that happened between you and Hannah? This goes beyond me and Hannah. She left your poor daughter all on her own while she went out to cheat on you. That's why you need to leave her immediately. She cheated on me? What are you talking about? Your wife Hannah left out poor Ella all on her own at the house and disappeared off somewhere. From what I can tell, she's away on holiday with some other guy as we speak. Wait a sec. None of this makes any sense. I don't follow what you're saying. Please, would you kindly explain what the hell it is you're talking about? All right, I will. Listen up and listen well. I paid a surprise visit to your house today. I was on a sightseeing holiday with your aunt Mildred, and I just happened to be in the neighborhood. I had some souvenirs I wanted to give you all. The house was empty, right? The two of them went away for summer vacation. I'm getting to that part. Layla had been left all on her own at the house. She said her mother had gone out and she didn't know when she'd be back. She said what? No one answered when I rang the doorbell and I was about to give up and go home. I just assumed she'd taken Layla out somewhere without telling me and didn't think much of it. Just as I started walking back to the car, the old lady from next door came out with Layla. The old lady from next door? You mean Edith? Yes, her name was Edith. Apparently, the two of them rushed outside when Ella spotted me looking out the window. Then Edith told me what Kylie had told her. Well, what did she say? Apparently, she told Edith her mother-in-law had collapsed and she urgently had to get to the hospital, which is why she asked her if she'd look after Layla. She said she'd be back within two or three days. Imagine Edith's surprise when I told her I was Hannah's mother-in-law. Her jaw must have hit the floor. I don't even know what the heck she's playing at here. So she lied to the neighbor to get her to look after Layla and went off somewhere. That's what it seems like. When I was outside speaking to Edith, a few of the other moms from the neighborhood happened to pass by and stopped speaking to us when they heard Hannah's name mentioned. They told me all sorts of stories about her. Apparently, when you're not around, the neighbors constantly see different guys going in and out of the house. She's become the subject of practically every rumor in the neighborhood. Are we still talking about my wife Hannah here? You've got to be joking me. Edith's very old, so she spends most of her time holed up indoors and doesn't speak to the rest of the neighbors all that much. She hadn't heard about the rumors. That's why she didn't suspect anything when Hannah asked her to look after Layla. I can't believe it. That woman has no shame. Do you understand why I told you to leave her now? Mom, this can't be. There's no way she'd do anything like that. This is absurd. We miss each other every day. I've never detected so much a hint of dishonesty from her. Maybe this will change your mind. The lady from across the street was so confused by what was going on, she started taking photos of all these guys going in and out of your house. I was struggling to take everything in at the time, but she asked if I wanted them, and I thought it was better. I have some kind of proof of her misdeeds before telling you about them. I can send them over if you like. That's okay. I believe you, Mom. God 
damn it. So Hannah really is cheating on me. If she's lying to the neighbor about me collapsing so she can dump Layla on her and rush off somewhere, at the very least, she's doing something she shouldn't be. Anyway, I couldn't let your wife carry on inconveniencing that poor old dear next door for even a second longer. I took Layla home with me. We're together at my house now. Thank you so much. You can say that again. Me and your Aunt Mildred had to cancel our holiday because of this. I expect generous recompense. I accept payment in the form of bottles of wine. What are you going to do about Hannah? If there's anything I can help you with, just say the word. I'm so sorry for all of this, Mom. I'll try messaging her. I'll decide what I'm going to do next, once I've seen what she has to say for herself. Please carry on looking after Layla for the time being. Okay. I'm happy to do that. It's been so long since I saw her. I almost forgot what a little bundle of joy she is. She seems very happy to see me and your dad again. Don't worry about her one bit, okay dear? I want you to focus on doing what needs to be done. Hannah, where are you right now? Huh? I'm on vacation. Why are you asking all of a sudden? Is something wrong? No, I was just wondering if you're enjoying your vacation. We're having an amazing time, sweetie. It's been so long. Layla's having so much fun. I've been finding it hard to keep her under control. I know it's a little early, but we were tired and decided to come back to the hotel for the night. We're just chilling and watching movies together with some popcorn now. I see. Sounds cozy. I'd love to see some photos of you both having a good time. Send me a couple of pics, why don't you? Huh? Do you want some photos? We've been riding roller coasters and battling out the bumper cars all day. And my makeup's a mess. I don't really feel like taking pictures right now. Sorry, honey. Is tomorrow okay? No, that's fine. I don't mind if you're not in them. Just take some of Layla. Oh, um, sorry, honey, but I was completely exhausted from playing all day. I'll send some tomorrow. Surely you want to see her at her cutest while she's having fun, right? No, really, I don't mind. She's just as cute to me when she's tired. Go ahead, just one pick is fine. Sorry, sweetie, it'll have to be tomorrow. I'm super worn out myself. You wouldn't believe how busy we've been today. I was just about to take a nap. That's fine. You can have your nap after you send me a pic. It'll take a second. Go on. Send the pic now. Ah! Do you ever give up? Just freaking drop it already, Albert. You're normally so kind and understanding when I say I'm not feeling up to something. What's gotten into you today? It's probably because I'm so kind and understanding that this happened in the first place. Huh? What do you mean by that? Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I have no idea what you're talking about. Look, honey, I'm really tired. I'd love to make idle chit chat with you, but not today. I'll video call you when our vacation is over. You're tired. That has to be the laziest excuse I've ever heard. Admit it, you couldn't send me a picture even if you wanted to, could you? Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? I mean it's physically impossible for you to take a picture of Layla right now. I mean, how could you? You're not with her. Because you left her behind and went on vacation without her. Forgive me for not being direct enough. You're on a lover's holiday with one of the guys you cheated on me with, aren't you? I know everything. What the hell? No. Why would you think that? Why are you coming at me with all this nonsense? Did something happen? I said I know everything. So you can drop the act now. You lied to Edith next door so she'd look after Ella. I know you're on vacation with some other guy. Where was it again? A Californian hot spring resort. Stop wasting my time with your pathetic act. You're not fooling anyone. Huh? How did you know? I left Layla with the neighbor. 
My mom came by the house today because she happened to be in the area while on vacation. She ran into Edith from next door while she was there, who turned out to be looking after Layla. Wait, so you mean your mom told you all of this? That's right. Phew, I think I understand now. Don't worry, babe. This is all just one huge misunderstanding on your mom's part. It's true. I may have told Edith a little white lie, so she'd look after Layla for a little while. But that was only so I could go on holiday with my friend Carla. You know, one of the moms from kindergarten. I'm not cheating on you, baby, I swear. I said stop wasting my time with this goddamn pathetic act, you lying hoebag. I heard from all the other moms in the neighborhood about the endless streams of guys that can be seen showing up at the house when I'm not around. Oh my god, Albert. Or should I say, the other moms in the neighborhood told my mom what you'd been up to when they heard your name mentioned, and seemed to be the subject of more than a few rumors on our street. Apparently, Virtually all of our neighbors know about the conveyor belt of guys who show up at our house when I'm not there. No way. Surely you don't believe this. That's preposterous. They're just rumors, honey. I swear. You can't worm your way out of this one, Hannah. I have photos of several of them going in and out of our house. Steve's wife's Emma from across the street thought something suspicious might be going on and started taking photos a few months back. Not only that, but I know about the secret Peekbook account that you've been using to keep a log of depraved exploits. You probably thought you were being so secretive having them come in through the back door, but practically the whole neighborhood knows about your secret. You're the talk of the town. What? Seriously? They all know about your secret Peekbook. Apparently, they all share a post with each other while laughing about what a train wreck of a human being you are. Apparently, one of them found it by chance a little while back. And wow, the stuff you post on there. It's actually scary how shameless you are. Chilling in a Californian hot spring with our main man. So that's how you know where I am. Wait, what? The neighbors have been taking photos of the house? Behind my back? and stalking my social media accounts. How dare they? This is an invasion of my privacy. Yeah, I won't deny it. It's bad taste to take photos of people without their permission. But if she hadn't done that, I would have never gotten a hold of all this damning proof of your affair. And please, how can you complain about people looking at your peak book page? Isn't that the whole point of social media? Anyway, the bottom line is I have definitive proof of your affair. I want a divorce. What? A divorce? Yes, a divorce. I have no intention of staying married to someone as treacherous and deceitful as you. Why don't you just get remarried to your main man? You know, the guy who was sipping cocktails in the hot spring in the photos with. No, 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 no. Let's not be hasty here, Albert. Just wait. He's nothing more than a cheap fling. Divorce is going too far. The fact that you betrayed your family over a cheap fling makes it even worse. We are so done. If the prospect of a divorce is so terrifying to you, perhaps you could have, oh, I don't know, not cheated on me in the first place. I told you, Albert, I was lonely. Your whole life is nothing but work, work, and more work. You went away on transfer to Philly and left me all on my own. What else was I supposed to do? I wish you'd try to understand my feelings. Not a single day went by where I wasn't paying by the loneliness of being so far away from you and Layla. Not a single day went by where I didn't wish I could just forget work and come home to be with both of you. But my family is more important to me than anything in the world which is why I'd never cheat on you. So no, I don't understand your feelings at all. But Albert, divorce is going too far. Can we please stop overreacting and talk this through like adults? You told barefaced lies to trick the neighbor into looking after Layla so you could leave her behind while you jetted off to California to stab me in the back. 
Who in their right mind would stay married to someone capable of that? I can never trust you again. Divorce is the only option. And that's final. You don't have the right to refuse. I'm sorry. I'll never do anything like this again. I swear. Please just rethink the divorce, baby. Please, please, please. I'm begging you. No, it's fine, really. Please. Carry on to your heart's content. I wouldn't want our pesky daughter getting in the way of you jetting across America with your lovers. So I'll tell you what, I'll do you a favor and take her off your hands. I'd hate it for you to ever get lonely again. So by all means, see as many guys as you like. Look on the bright side. At least you don't have to hide it anymore. After that, I hired a lawyer and filed for divorce as quickly as possible. Hannah did try to fight me over it and was stubbornly defiant in her unwillingness to go through the divorce. But in the face of the mountains of photo evidence of her misdeeds, she didn't have a leg to stand on and was ultimately forced to sign the papers through gritted teeth. While I did find the formidable power of the neighborhood mommy network somewhat terrifying, I have nothing but gratitude for them. My ex's extracurricular activities have been common knowledge. After, she became a regular topic of conversation at their gossip sessions. She was quite literally the talk of the town. I found out later on that Emma from across the street, who had diligently gathered proof of my ex-wife's lover's illicit backdoor entries, had intended to show me the photos when I came home from my work transfer. It turns out, the neighborhood moms found her behavior just as despicable as I did. As a result of the evidence, a divorce was finalized without me having to pay a single cent of alimony. I won custody of Layla and Hannah was forced to leave the house. After my work transfer ended, I came home and I'm currently living happily with my mom and Layla. My mom has been super supportive throughout the whole thing and I feel lucky to have her. Layla told me after the divorce that it wasn't the first time her mother had left her with Edith from next door. Until the very last time my ex cried and wailed, disagreed and protested, and begged and pleaded for me and Layla not to leave her. But if we were that important to her, she never would have cheated on me on the first place. I find it pretty ironic that as a result of cheating on me to sow her loneliness, she's now the loneliest she's ever been in her life. What the future holds for me and Layla? One thing's for certain, I'm going to do everything in my power to ensure she grows up surrounded by love, warmth, and affection. She'll never get lonely on my watch. I'm looking forward to making all sorts of amazing memories with her. First up, a luxurious family holiday with me and my mom. I still have a lot to make up for having to call off our last one after all. That reminds me, I owe her a bottle of wine.